AI software engineers are real now. Can you believe it? Where do we even stand nowadays? Like right over there at that corner and cry myself to sleep at night because we're gonna lose our job? Yeah, that probably sounds right. If you have not heard about this, let me keep you up to date. Cognition AI launched their first software engineer and his name is Devin. If you wanted to learn more about Devin, I'll give you a link of that video. Essentially, people are losing their mind over this first AI software engineer. Let's look at some of the comments that people say. Imagine losing your job because an AI named Devin. I was taking a bootcamp to learn coding, get a job, build a career for the rest of my life. So thank you for ruling everything, Devin. People are reacting really negative about this. The reason I'm sharing of information with you on this video is because I do want to talk about the future of AI and is it even still worth it to learn to program? Hi, if this is the first time you came across this channel, my name is Vicky May and I am a software engineer in New York City. But soon, I might just get replaced by Devin. Who knows, it could happen, right? In the past couple years, AI really has been advancing and multiplying and just basically going at a super fast pace. I feel like every single day there are so many new AI tools are being born and people were really enjoying using AI for different things. So since we have created the automations on so many other things, it comes to a point that we wonder, what if one day AI just gonna replace all of the software engineers like just like that? What are we gonna do then? Well, guess what? Devin is here. Devin is here and he's not going anywhere. Anywhere. So looks like it only takes a second developed, even though I was thinking it's gonna take a few years at least for us to make enough money so I can get retired. But I guess not. And I do wanted to bring up the point that is it even worth it to learn to program now? in 2024. The first point that I wanted to make is the difference between coding versus software engineering. There is a significant difference between these two things. Coding is only a very small part of software engineering and software engineering is more of a practice. Let me explain this. Coding is more like laying the bricks and pouring the concretes when it comes to building a house. Whereas software engineering is more like architecting how to build a house. And it's more from designing, coordinating with different parts of the build of the house, and also considering the functionality, the aesthetics, and also the long-term sustainability of the building or of the house. If you notice, the high levels of software engineers, like staff engineers, the senior levels of engineers, the more time that they are going to be spending on not coding line by line, but actually considering the trade-offs and talking about the tech stacks and thinking about architecting the project itself and how they can maximize the business values using the technologies. Point number two, learning to program isn't just about getting a job. In the past decade, software engineering has skyrocketed. Every single person wanted to learn to program. Every single person is finding out ways to get into the field, to become a software developer. And I would say that is really cool to see. However, I do think that a lot of people is picking this profession because it's a very high paying job. There's nothing wrong with that. I wanted to say that this isn't wrong to find a job that pays well because you got bills to pay. That's totally fine. But AI is going to do most of the programming work now. As I see, that's the trend and that's where we're heading. So if that is the case, why are we even bothered to learn, right? Like, what is the point? I bet there's gonna be a lot of people who are giving up on learning to code because the journey isn't easy. And if it's not for the money, why are we even learning at this point? However, I think instead of focusing on just learning to code, we should really seek to learn software engineering as a practice. What I mean by that is 
learning how to program is important because let me quote on Steve Jobs on this. So he once said that everyone in this country should learn how to program because it teaches you how to think. And this is my point. Problem solving is a skill, is worth to learn about how to problem solve with unlimited resources out there. Learning software engineering, it's like teaching kids how to do math. The point isn't get the answers right. The point is to teach them that we can solve this complex problem by applying these strategies. And the point is to teach them to think logically, to teach them to problem solve. This is very, very similar to learning software engineering. The reason that I said is to learn software engineering instead of to learn coding because we wanted to focus on learning the practices of problem solving, of thinking logically, not just to learn how to program. I think that we will see a lot of automations, we will see a lot of AIs doing the actual programming part of things. Just think of it as how we can give kids calculators but it's cool to see how the kids come up with their own ideas of solving that math problems because with all these resources that you have nowadays, you have a lot of different potentials to solve the same problem and that is exciting. That being said, brings us to point number three, which is adapting a new way to learn to program. Knowing that AI is going to help us to lift the most heavy work from doing most of the programming, now that we have to learn differently. Instead of learning how to program and learning how to code from a traditional educational institution, like going to college, there are so many ways that you can just learn to program on your own. I think one of the most important skill is to learn how to use the internet, learn how to use the AI to help you to learn how to program. And you can easily find a lot of the resources online to get you started. There's free courses, there's minimum pay of online courses that could help you to get started with gathering and knowing all these information. You gotta first absorb all those informations and then you can also practice you can start looking for projects online. There's a lot of interactive websites that you can use to start building projects. And if you get stuck, which we all do, you can ask AI to help you to debug, to help you to explain some of the concepts that you did not get. And that opens up a lot of opportunities. Also, with the internet, you can also connect with people who are learning the same programming languages with you. Like there's so many communities out there. There's Reddit, there's TikTok, there's Instagram, there's Twitter, X, out of it. There's so many coding communities out there that you can connect with people, you can talk through your learning experiences. I gotta say, I've learned so much from running into bugs on my code and just Googling around and reading through articles after articles of people running into the same problem as me. And that was not provided back in the days. And I encourage you to take Take that opportunity, take this air of the internet, take this air of AI to learn differently instead of just learning from the traditional school. You can definitely do this on your own. Just because now that we have AI, it doesn't mean that we're no longer going to code. I am definitely not going to stop coding just because AI is going to do all the coding for us now. Programming is not just a job to me. I think Programming is a form of art, and to some people, programming is a hobby. Just like chess, just like D&D, just like any type of hobbies. Like, and people enjoy challenging their creativities. And I think that AI is not gonna stop us from creating, and AI is not gonna 
stop us from having fun and renovating and advancing from AI. So it's okay, even though Devin has done a fabulous job of basically replacing us. But at the end of the day, I don't think that's the case. I don't think Devin's gonna replace us and we're just all gonna sit here and cry and be sad about it. There's so many opportunities for us to renovate, for us to build from what we have from AI. Hope you enjoy this video and smash the like button if you really do and definitely share this video with someone else. And check out my other videos about AI right here. I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe. Adios.